Good morning, guys. So、uh, we are getting ready. I'm getting ready to leave the house. Let me give you a wristwatch check. And、uh, today we are going on a little road trip. And me and my buddy, when we are going on a road trip, you know what happens. So yeah, guys, I'm outside waiting for my buddy, and、uh, we are actually going to pick up a new watch for him. And I'm very happy and excited today because we are going to my hometown. I haven't been there in a while, and I'm really looking forward to it. Hi guys. By the way, guys, have you seen the Archie Luxury Collection review I did? I said to do a little collab, and I sent my collection for review to Archie. So be on the lookout for that. And、uh, I don't know when Archie is gonna do it. He said next week, but I don't know. I did my part of the deal, and、uh, if you want to see what I think about Archie's collection,、uh, check out my previous uploads. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm EDC Gunner, and today, like you can see, my mate got himself a Vacheron Constantine Chronograph. It's an overseas Vacheron Constantine overseas. It's a 49150 second generation, and、uh, this watch is absolute stunner. My mate was thinking about Daytona. He wanted to get a Daytona. It was his next grail. But this watch,、uh, it matches the Daytona's prestige and、uh, raises the stakes. It's more exclusive, has more finer finish, design details that Rolex cannot touch. This watch is that next level thing. This watch is so much beautiful that you need to see it in person. My first reaction was. Oh boy, this is so much better than Rolex. I can see now. I can see now.、Uh, I had so many things to say about this watch. I had so many prejudices. I wanted to say this watch is、um, it's nice, but I don't like bezel. I don't like this. But that goes everything into the water once you get get it in person. When you see it, when you hold it in your hands, and I held the solid gold Daytona. Uh, a couple months ago, in my hands, and it didn't impress me as this one. The the fine little subtle details, 
not just the moment. It's speaking of moment, this is powered by Frederick Piquet moment, uh, which is Jean Claude Bivet bought them, and they are now making. Uh, they are now movement maker for Blanc Pond, but this is. Uh, you can argue it's technically better than in house, but I uh, just want to give you a little first impressions of the watch, the review. Uh, I don't know going to bore you with all the boring stuff, but the bracelet, the case back. Take a look at this case back. It's so much classier than the open case bags. I do love the open case bags, but this is, this is more subtle class and it makes the watch more rugged. It's 150 meter water resistant and it plays beautifully on the light. The bracelet, the bracelet is so melted together. It's just like, it's like a living being, this bracelet on this watch, and you, you cannot take it apart. The dealer shade dial and all the finer details on this watch, it just raises the stakes with exclusivity, fine finish, and uh, it's for a reason, the holy trinity. Uh, it's, it's really the watch that comes head to head with the AP, with the Patek Philippe Nautilus. But uh, at 42 millimeters, this watch is tailored to be your everyday watch, to be your fine exclusive watch, to be your one and only watch. This, is, this watch came close to be the one and only watch I could live for the rest of my life. Not just the play of light, not just the Kiloche, but genuinely this watch is a beautiful watch. When you see it, someone wearing, wears it across the table uh, in the wild, uh, first thing you notice, what a beautiful watch this is. This is just a beautiful watch. And then you take a closer look, you take a closer look and you see it's a Vacheron Constantin. Everything about this watch has been thoughtfully taught through uh, and it's designed with such a elegance that this watch what impresses at the first glance the way you see it's a beautiful watch and later on when you see a, it's a Vacheron it draws thoughtful questions and uh, this killed so many grails for me this watch killed so many grail watches for me and this came closest to the one and only watch that I could own for the rest of my life and completely be happy with it. It's just a beautiful and take a look at this shot, guys. Take a look. This is the closest thing you, you, you can see it matches its real beauty in person rather than photos and videos. And the watch looks so much better in person. And uh, it's one of those exotic watches. It's for a reason the part of a holy trinity and uh, just like cars, you have Mercedes and your BMWs and everything, but then you s take a step up to those exotic stuff like the Lambos and Ferraris, and this is it. This is it. And uh, absolutely dream watch that I can recommend to everyone.